Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a zoom through sabers very easy in After Effects. Before we begin making any effects, we will need to isolate the car from a background to make things a lot better, so make sure to select a roto brush tool and double click on your clip. Make sure to take your time and rotoscope the car as smooth as possible. Once you are done, click on freeze button, as the freezing is finished, we can close rotoscoping window and then duplicate the clip. Rename top one to car only and the bottom one to original. Now make sure original layer is selected and then delete roto brush effect from it. I will toggle off original layer for a while cause we don't need to see it yet. All we need is this rotoscoped car and several saber layers, so let's create new solid layer now. I will name it saber and then hit ok. Let's apply saber effect on that solid and then under a saber expand render settings and change composite settings to transparent. Now expand customize core and change core type to layer masks. Let's grab an ellipse tool now and then hold shift and create a smoothest oval mask like this. But now we have one thing to fix and it is that anchor point, as you see it's not in the center and to fix it easy, make sure saber layer is selected, then hold control on your keyboard and double click on anchor point tool here. Anchor is now centered and now we will need to align saber layer horizontally and vertically in the center. Now we can go to the preset here and choose any. I will grab energize and then make sure to move saber layer above car only and then enable 3D on your layers. Now highlight all layers and press P on a keyboard, then select only car only and original layers and bump up Z position to move the car far from the camera, increase it until the car is tiny something like that. Now select saber and do the same. Once you are done, duplicate saber layer and then on a bottom one begin decreasing Z position to move saber closer to the camera like that. Once you are done, duplicate it and do the same, on a bottom one decrease the position and move it closer to the camera. Do the same thing until sabers are enough for you. I think it's enough for me, but note, the more sabers you will have, the better this effect will look, and once you are done, make sure to create new camera layer. Change type to 2 node camera and preset to 35mm and then hit OK. Move camera layer above all other layers and then expand camera transform settings. Make sure you are at the very beginning of a camera layer and then click on point of interest and position stopwatch icons. Now scroll forward where you want that effect to end and then grab a dolly cursor tool. Press C on a keyboard until you see it, where you can also select dolly tool from camera tools here and then make sure to zoom all the way in like this. I will toggle on my original layer just to make sure I am zooming properly, and as you see there are black edges, simply zoom until they are gone. Once you are satisfied with it, toggle off original layer and then let's check the effect. Looks cool, we can now toggle on original layer and then press T on a keyboard and change opacity to 0%. Now scroll to the moment before the effect ends and then click on opacity stopwatch icon. Then scroll forward and change opacity to 100% and then let's check the effect. I don't like it, I think I will move first opacity keyframe forward a bit and then check the effect again. That's better, now go to camera layer and select all keyframes and press F9 on a keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor, right click here and select edit speed graph and then make a smooth curve. Looks good, but for more smoothness, I will select all 3D layers and enable motion blur on them. That's way better now. This effect will look better with shake effects. I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials. Also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description. Check how it looks like with my shake presets. Looks awesome. You can also adjust each saber layer, maybe change the colors and make them colorful, or even you can change presets and make it look as you will enjoy more, just make sure to take your time and play around with the saber effects. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.